Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin, after my last video, it was pretty much outdated when, when I made that video. Um, well, it wasn't outdated really, I talked about the alternative, but still um, it moved quite strongly after my last update and therefore I decided to do another another quick update. So in my last video, my primary expectation was that we were moving up here in a wave four. That is basically what you have to expect because we peaked quite significantly here in what was possibly a wave two. We then started to move down in an impulsive wave in a wave one down, two up, three down, normally the most, yeah, normally the longest wave. Um, then we moved up in what looked like a wave four and I told you that a wave four with the highest likelihood would, um, would peak in the area between the 38.2% FIB level and the 50% FIB level. And that if we go above the 50% Fibonacci retracement level that we can expect upside because then this scenario here would be yeah invalidated. So until 30.46K here, I did expect a turnaround um, into a wave five. But then the alternative was triggered and we moved all the way up here, but did not actually invalidate this downtrending scenario. We did not get to the invalidation point. The invalidation point was and still is 31.75k that is would take place if we take out here this high the beginning of this wave down so however we moved up too high for this one particular smaller degree wave count because not only did we move a little bit too high for a wave four but we also moved into the price region of this pink wave one which means we sort of did not invalidate the immediate downtrend scenario. Well, we did not invalidate the, um, the the overall downtrending scenario, but what we did invalidate was this smaller wave count here. So we're gonna look at what is going on. I told you the alternative anyway, um, which would take place should we move above 31,750, but because we haven't moved above that level, I'm looking at something different now. So w one, one thing, one um, the alternative I gave you um, so the, no, one second, the, the overall idea was that we were starting to move down here as I just sh showed you one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And from here, we would have then moved further down to complete this wave three in white, because it looked like the wave two here was already finished. Um, it seems like that this wave two, however, wasn't finished. And, uh, yeah, I gave you my alternative scenario, which would have been that we would, um, let me just think, came down here. Yeah, that this here was a W, X, Y. Um, however, with this move, we should not move above 32.4K. Yeah, not above 32.4K. Let me just double check that. Um, is it 32.4? I'm telling you something wrong. Yeah, 32.4K. We should not move above that because this is the peak and above that level, it would be invalidated. So, however, this WXY would only get likely in the area or would only be the wave count between 31,750 and 32,376 until we are, uh, and even then after this wave Y peak, we would expect the move down. So still very much downtrending here. Um, despite this move up, which in no way is to be considered bullish, okay? N no bullish signals here, just a short-term uptrend, short-term spike in what I think is just a corrective wave, um, which is part here of this overall downtrend still. Yeah. Um, but at the moment, because we have not moved above 31,750, we can also see it in a way that actually this wave two here has never been finished. Yeah, it has never been finished. And he comes into play what I said before, what is so important to really get confirmation that this overall downtrend, which I expect is starting, is a move below 28.6K and even better 28K, which is the low of the wave X here. Only then we really have confirmation. Until then, theoretically, we can always here move up and down, up and down, um, and we continue with the process to find the most likely next outcome. Bear in mind here, those short-term moves, they are often invalidated, but if they are, 
this does not change anything in this sort of medium term picture that we are going to fulfill here this roadmap and we'll see one more lower low for Bitcoin. Now, this is for me still the most likely scenario that we will see one lower low for Bitcoin. Because as I explained in the previous video, this structure here is just not bullish. Of course, a breakout is possible, but I explained all of that in detail in the last video. Any breakout from here, I would be extremely skeptical, um, which doesn't mean it could happen, but it would be not, in my opinion, um, a breakout that will be sustainable. Um, yeah, but now with this latest move, we can expect the wave two wasn't finished yet. That is how I see the market at the moment. And um, yeah, that would basically mean this wave one here is still in place where it was no change at all. This here was indeed an A, B, C. However, it was an A, B, C. Um, was it an A, B, C? Let me just check. A, B, C. Yeah, this was an A, B, C. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Just checking here how we can make that work. Yeah, okay, no, it was an ABC, three wave move. This here is a three wave move as well. So we have another ABC. A, the A was down here, B here, and the C wave would be down here. So we have an ABC, we have an ABC, a three, three, five move. 335 a flat pattern um, indicated because this last leg is very steep so in here yeah in this last or in this wave two now the last wave which is the wave uh, let me just make that clearer here abc abc blah, blah. so this would be the last leg up now but we can count this last leg up as a five wave move as well. One, two, three. That's how I see it now. There would be a wave four down. And now it's getting tricky. There will be one more leg up, I believe, yeah, in this move. Um, this must not exceed now. It can now go above 31,750. It can actually in this wave too. It should not, or it must not go above 32,376. So let's expect one more move up in a way five, however, below 32,376. Yeah, so looking here currently again, in that last leg up of this wave two, we're looking at a five wave move. And this five wave move seems like we completed already waves one, two, and three. And this is currently wave four retracement, where we are looking here at something a little bit more of a retracement down now. Yeah, again, possibly into the area around 30,706. Basically everything from 31K to 30.4K is possible between the 50% FIB level and the 23.6% FIB level. Most likely though is the 30.7K level, which is the 38.2% FIB level. So retracement down here, yeah, and then move up in a wave five. That would complete this wave two in the current scenario here and then after that we should that is the next chance the chart gets move down yeah and uh, that next leg down should then be that wave three in white and in that wave three in white we should finally go down here that is how i can currently see it um, invalidation point for this scenario would be the 32376 level so hope that was <laughs> sort of clear uh, i try to keep it sort of simple but i understand it can be a bit complex but um, that is elliott wave on the lower time frames and we just try to make it work here and um, sort of find a way here to that uh, lower low um, and at the moment this is taking this sideways movement is taking longer ex than expected but i've been warning you a lot of times that all of this here yeah is part of a correction I mean, we could have now started that impulse down. Technically, it could still be possible. We are still in this wave four. What you need to understand is we haven't started an uptrend yet. There is no evidence. And I'm just waiting for the signal that we are moving lower here. 
um, and the signal or the confirmation would not happen, will not happen before we actually go below 28K. A really good indication generally is that 28.6K level as well when that is crossed to the downside. Okay, and that is my view about Bitcoin. Um, last update for today. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.